turnovers are a huge thing for us. You know, we're, we want to preach, preach turnovers, think turnovers. You know, I might be walking the cafeteria, hit somebody's lunch plate out of their hand trying to get a forced fumble. So um, that, that's, that's a really big thing for us. I think you can have a great fundamentally sound defense, but if you have no turnovers, your defense still just kind of is just whatever. So I think turnovers is the name of the game. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. Back at you with another video. And Marlon Humphrey said something that was pretty interesting from his presser from a couple days ago. And he said that we want to preach turnovers as a football team. Now, this is something that the Ravens have not done the last five years. They've only been top 10 in takeaways two of the last five years. So let's, let's go over the last five years for the Ravens. 2017, they were first in takeaways. 2018, they were 27th in takeaways. 2019, they were tied for 7th. 2020, they were 17th. Um, and then 2021, last year, they were 30th in the NFL. Okay, that means only the Jets and the Jaguars had um, fewer takeaways than the Baltimore Ravens last year. And if you're going to win a Super Bowl, that's not the kind of competition uh, teams you want to be hanging around. Let's just be, let's be honest. The Ravens' goal this year is to win the Super Bowl. What can they do to achieve that goal? Take the ball away. So let's look at the last five Super Bowl champions. 2020, 2021, um, LA Rams. They were 10th in takeaways. 2020 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They were 6th in takeaways. 2019 Chiefs, 13th. 2018 Pats, 7th. 2017 Philadelphia Eagles, 4th. So that means... The last five Super Bowl champs have been in the top half of the league in takeaways. The lowest is 13, that's the Kansas City Chiefs. All right. That means four out of the last five champions, take, take the Chiefs out, have been top 10 in turnovers. Draw down a little bit more. Three out of the last five have been in the top seven in turnovers in the NFL. Turnovers are vital to the NFL, and that every coach, every player is going to preach that we got to win the turnover battle. And the Ravens simply haven't done it. All right. So now, let's look at what the Ravens have done this offseason to say that we can actually win a turnover battle and actually cause more takeaways for our team and put our offense in better positions. They added Marcus Williams, free safety, rangy, get to the ball. Kyle Hamilton, rangy, get to the ball. Kyle Fuller, uh, great eyes, great instincts. We'll see if he can still be the player that he once was. But he's only two years removed from leading the league in interceptions. Well, it'll be three years when the season comes, but um, 2019, he led the league in interceptions with uh, seven. Okay. Marlon Humphrey, not an interception guy, but what does he do best when he's around football? Punch it out. Now, what what about the D-line? Because taking the ball away isn't just interceptions. It's also pass rush. Added, Tra added Travis Jones up the middle, brought back Calais Campbell. We're hoping that Adafi always takes that next step and becomes a pass rusher we think he can be. Now, also, drafted David Ojabo. Now, he won't start the season, but if he comes back middle of the year and he can come in and be a pass rush specialist, he could probably do some special things in his defense. And the real reason I like David Ojabo in his defense is because now he's had a setback from the injury, but he won't have a setback mentally because it's the same defense or similar. It's going to be a similar defense to the way he ran in college. I'm sure Mike McDonald won't run the exact same defense he ran. He'll have some adjustments some things like that. But... Ojabo should come in and hit the ground running. The only thing that's going to be different for him is obviously uh, it's the NFL game. You're playing against grown men now. It's a little bit different. But in terms of thinking about it, he should just be able to go out there and play. So that's beautiful. Um, I want to see Matabike. Matabike, you know, according to Ravens fans, could be someone like Aaron Donald. Can he get to the passer? We need to see that. We need to see guys up the middle causing havoc and collapsing the pocket on the QBs. So I thought it was really good to hear Marlon say that we are preaching turnovers. Because like I said, if you look at these Super Bowl champions, they take the ball away from the other team. And last year, I know injuries, Marcus Peters hurt, things like that. Um, it just wasn't there. So if the Ravens want to take that next step in the playoffs, in the regular season, and really become that team that's contending, they must, must, must up the turnovers, up the takeaways. And I believe that they put themselves in position this offseason to do that. Like I said, when they, with the players that they added, these are all guys who want to be around the football and thrive around the football. Uh, too much last year seemed like, seemed like it was just 
not enough playmakers. All right, drop interception here, not making a play there. I have a call or even a defensive coordinator not knowing the personnel and and not adjusting, like Wing Martindale for last year, right? I remember the Bears game. I believe it was fourth down. Marquise Goodwin on Chris, uh, Chris Westry. And we, and we know what Wink does. Cover zero blitz on the biggest player on the other game, and Chris Westry gets burned on a double move. Now, why do I think that'll be different this year? One, I don't think Mike McDonald is just going to be all out aggressive um, on these kind of downs. He's going to actually mix it up and get the defense something to think about. Because we, even Ravens fans, we knew what the, what was happening on third and fourth downs. So if we knew as fans, then I'm sure the offensive coordinators knew on the other side. They trained the quarterbacks to know too. So hopefully Mike McDonald brings a scheme where unpredictability is one of his best abilities. All right. So it sounds like um, that Mike McDonald is going to make some changes to this defense. I've heard Mahomes also say that he's making the Ravens smarter players. Their diagnosing coverage is different. They're, every player is knowing what other what every other player on the field is doing as well. The uh, Mahomes Humphrey at corners knowing what the D line is doing, knowing what the linebackers doing, what the safety is doing, right? So, so everybody can work as one unit in unison and really stop offenses. Because let's talk about it. Turnovers change the momentum of games. Every coach is going to preach the turnover battle. He must win the turnover battle. Because why? If you turn the ball over, usually you leave your offense with a shorter field, better chance to score. If you turn the ball over, usually that means the people you took it from, the offense on the other side, their confidence is a little shaky. They don't want to mess up again because they know they, get, they uh, have another turnover. This game could be over. So turnovers are huge, and it's good to hear that the Ravens are making this a point of emphasis, even as early as OTAs. So if it's a point of emphasis now, it's only going to ramp up as the season goes. So uh, it was good to hear Marlon Humphrey say that, that turnovers are the name of the game, that they're preaching turnovers in the locker room, in the meeting room already. So if the Ravens can turn the ball over, get in that top 10, that's the goal. Get in a top 10 or better in takeaways this season, the Ravens can be Super Bowl champions. All right, it's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.